What's up guys, it's Fatal Chemical from Team Fatal and today I'm bringing you guys a video I probably should have made about four months ago when I released my Breath of the Wild 4K 60 FPS video. Now what that video is, is a video directly answering a lot of the issues you guys have had with my repack for Breath of the Wild 60 FPS and 4K. So in this video we are going to talk about a bunch of those issues and I mean we're going to go over the minimum and recommended com computer specs that you need to play the game. We're going to go over the error when initializing Vulkan Renderer, unable to create Vulkan Instance negative 9 error. We're going to go over using a mouse for your camera. We're going to go over when updating SimU, how it's going to either disable or enable mods that are directly correlated to your CPU and how to get them running again just in case it doesn't work when you update it SimU. And we're gonna talk about where you can't boot into the game because it says you need to update your Wii U console to play. So with that being said, let's get right into this. Now the first thing we're gonna talk about is the system requirements to play the game. I see a lot of people in the comments trying to play it with a laptop with integrated graphics or probably a desktop they've had laying around for the last 10 years and they decided they wanted to save a buck so they tried to play this on it and uh, it's not gonna work. I mean, it's not that hard to get a computer that can run this uh, without the 4K and 60 FPS mod. You can look online for a pre-built gaming PC if you don't wanna build one yourself and probably spend around $500-ish to be able to get the recommended settings sitting down there and be able to play it in at least a playable fashion, 30 frames. Um, but if you're wanting to play this in 4K and 60 FPS with all the mods, you are going to want a decently high-end PC. I have a GTX 1080 Ti and a KB Lake 7700K Intel i7. And I can't even get 60 frames per second in the overworld when playing the game. I can get about 50 consistently. So just take that into consideration. Um, that's literally all there is to this problem. If you guys have any questions about any of the specs or need to know how to find them, I'll show you that right now. Now to find your PC specs is fairly easy. All you want to do is open up any folder. It honestly doesn't matter. Just make sure you've got like a screen over here that lets you have quick access, desktop, downloads, documents, all that fun stuff. Right click this PC or whatever you have it named hit properties and it's going to tell you if you got a 64-bit operating system how much RAM you have and it's going to tell you your direct processor and the speed of it. So as you can see mine has that Intel i7 7700K and I've got 16 gigs of RAM. To find out your GPU it's just as simple just go down to the search bar type in device manager boot it up and there's going to be a display adapters tab click the arrow and you're gonna see your GPU right there you do not want that to say integrated in any way shape or form you're going to want it to say what the minimum requirements are which is like a GTX 750 that's all there is to that let's get into the next issue so we're gonna talk about two issues here and the first issue we're gonna talk about is the air when initializing Vulcan renderer issue people are having and we're also going to show you how to make the game show up if it's not showing up because a lot of people are having that issue as well. Uh, so obviously you just want to open up Simu and to get the game to show up you're going to go to options, general settings, click add down here on game path, locate where you have it extracted, wrong folder on my end, and then click the Breath of the Wild folder, select folder, exit, and it'll boot. So that's how you fix that issue. Now the error when initializing Vulkan issue is when Simu does not detect a graphics card. So you can see here there's no graphics device but when I click Vulkan Experimental it is going to detect my graphics device. So there's one way I found on Reddit to fix it. Since I can't replicate the issue I can't test it. But apparently you can click here and then you can click the arrow or you can hit down on your keyboard 
and it'll be able to select a blank box. That is one way to do it. And if you can't do that, you should just be able to go up here and hit open GL. And now depending on which one you have active, it is going to prevent you from using some mods. So I'll go back into detail on that here in a minute when I talk about the issues of when you update SimU. But that is all there is to it. If you can't select your graphics device in Vulkan, just use OpenGL, or you can try to tab down with the arrow and go from there. Uh, so let's move on to the next issue. Next issue we're going to talk about is when you update SimU and it won't boot. So first of all here, I'm going to check for updates and I'm going to update here. Now after SimU updates, uh, it's going to ask you to set up your game path again uh, because it's like a fresh copy of SimU because it technically is. As you can see, mine is now 1.19.0D, which is the latest version as of 5.27.2020. Uh, but what happens when you download the new update is it will disable all your mods. So you'd have to go to Options and Graphics Packs. Go ahead and hit all the pluses here so you can see everything. And this is where it's going to get a little tricky. So you need to know what's in your computer in order to use some of these mods. Low-end PCs are not going to want to use enhancements like clarity, enhanced reflections, anything with shadow. You're going to want to stick with the base game and 30 FPS and enjoy the game for what it is. Now, if you do have a Intel or a AMD or whatever you have in your system, there is going to be options at the bottom for workarounds that you might have to use in order to get the game to boot fully. Like right here is uh, GPU specific workarounds for OpenGL. So if you're using the OpenGL plugin instead of Vulkan, you might need to use AMD and Intel Shadows so the game doesn't crash. Or if you have a NVIDIA graphics card like I do, you might want to enable the explosion smoke and the stretch clouds or the game's going to look a little weird. Um, so you're really just going to have to get to know your PC, figure out what you need to enable, what you need to disable, play with it a little bit until you get some settings that you're comfortable with, and go from there. If you guys do need any help with this, I will have my Discord in the description. I'm free most of the time on weekends, but during the week it's a little bit harder to get a hold of me because I work a full-time job. But if you guys do have any questions or need help, feel free to ask me in my Discord. I will get back with you as soon as I can. But this is the issue a lot of you are having when it comes to updating, and now all of a sudden you can't play the game. That's it. Let's move on to the next one. Now we're going to talk about using mouse for your camera in Breath of the Wild. And I'm probably going to have to make a separate video on this one because it requires multiple different programs and setting stuff up. So I'm not going to talk too much about it in this video, but in the future I will release a video in how to use it with Breath of the Wild, but if you want to try it out yourself, I'm going to leave a link in the description with this Reddit post that explains directly how to play it. That's as far as I'm going to go into it with this one. So the last problem we're going to talk about is the problem most of you have had, and that's when trying to boot the game, it's telling you you need to update your Wii U console. I have never had this issue. I don't know why other people are having this issue, because it should have already been updated and the DLC should have already been installed, but for some reason, people are having it. A lot of people in the comments figured out how to fix it, so I'm going to go over that with you guys. Now, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is open SimU, hit File, Install Game Update or DLC. In the Breath of the Wild folder, there is going to be a DLC folder, a Game folder, and an Update folder. In each one of those, you're, there's going to be subfolders, and you need to look for the Meta subfolder and look for Meta.xml. And it says, it seems the selected update is already installed. Do you want to reinstall it? You're going to hit yes. So it's going to do its thing. It's going to install the DLC. It's going to install the Wii U update, or it's going to update the game. There's one in each one of those folders. You're going to have to hit each one. So obviously you can see here it's installing DLC. I'm not going to let it do its thing right now because I don't need it. Um, 
but yeah, that was for the um, that was for the DLC. So now I need to go in and I need to do it for the actual game update. So I'll hit the meta.xml there. I actually didn't need to do that one either. And then I need to go in one more time and do it for the update. And it's saying it's already installed, but I'm gonna hit yes anyway, and it's going to install the update. That is all there is to fixing that one. Go in to the game folder, in each one of the subfolders, there's a meta subfolder. Install the meta.xml and it'll fix the issue completely. I know I went through that kind of fast, so if you have to go back through it a couple of times, I'll reiterate it one more time here. Hit as soon as it cancels. Hit file, install game update or DLC. Go directly into the Breath of the Wild folder until you see three subfolders, DLC, game, and update. Go into each one of those. So DLC, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, meta, hit meta.xml, then do it again with game, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, meta, meta.xml, and then do it one more time for update, update, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, meta.xml, and it should nullify that error and you should be able to play with all DLC, no issues whatsoever. If you guys do have any more issues, feel free to comment, join my Discord, let me know what issues you're having and I will do my best to get back with you as soon as I can. I announced in my last video that I will be doing a $60 giveaway of something of your choice. Uh, not this video, but the next video, all you're gonna have to do is comment. Let me know, Just so I don't even care what you comment, just comment something and I will enter you in for that giveaway. But if you guys like this type of content, please subscribe, leave a like. For the people that have been subscribed, thank you. The fact that we are already at 200 subscribers means a lot to me. But take it easy, guys. Have a good one.